A battle over an education law is taking place in a U.S. Court of Appeals. Before we dive into what happened today, here's a look back at how we got here. In May of last year, Governor Kim Reynolds signed a bill into law that aimed to do three things. Ban books depicting sex acts from schools, forbid teachers through sixth grade from talking about gender identity or sexual orientation, and require school districts to notify parents when their child wants an accommodation relating to gender identity, like going by a different name or pronoun. In November, advocates against the law filed two separate lawsuits, both citing First Amendment right violations. A month later, a judge put a temporary block on the first two parts of the law. The state then filed an appeal. Now a judge in federal court must decide whether to keep the block in place while those lawsuits play out. The first step in that decision started today with oral arguments. Our Dana Serials is following it all for us and joins us in the studio. Dana? Larissa, the state argued in federal court today that this law's intent is to help support Iowa's youth, while the other side says the law is too broad and is only bringing fear to educators in the state. It's the Iowa Safe Schools and seven students in one lawsuit and the Iowa State Education Association Teachers Union and publisher Penguin Random House in another lawsuit. Both are suing the state for what each say is a broadly unconstitutional law. So there are very, very real implications for public educators having to carry out this law with too little guidance. The state is looking to lift the block on the law to continue its enforcement. The state says the government has the right to enforce these aspects and believe this law is essential to support Iowa's youth. If this injunction is vacated, the school districts, the schools and the students will understand what the law means. And as time moves forward, this will become an integral part of Iowa's educational landscape. Attorneys for the state say curating books in public school libraries falls under government speech regulations, questioning the basis of the lawsuits. The state claiming it requires broad interpretation to see the courtroom. However, the plaintiffs don't know how it is possible to narrow down the law and solve the questions still arising. To the extent that there's government speech involved in removing a book, that means there's also government speech in a book remaining. And so you reach the same problem that we identified in the district court, which is you end up with contrary and contradictory speech. Attorney General Brenna Byrd issued a statement following the argument saying in part, inappropriate books do not belong in the hands of school children. As a mom, I know how important it is for parents to have a say in what books and materials kids have access to. Also adding, it is common sense. Today's hearing was only focused on the appeal for the preliminary injunction. The pending lawsuit is still in district court.